afternoon, race fans. Welcome to Lanier National Speedway in Brazelton, Georgia. I'm Aaron Johnson with the Johnson iRacing team, bringing you today's feature event. It is 40 fast laps in the iRacing Advanced Legends Cup from Lanier National Speedway. This group, an outstanding collection of talent. We're going to watch them run 40 hard laps and we'll see who shuffles their way to the front. Let's have a look at today's starting lineup. Starting in the 14th spot in car number 13, racing out of the Germany-Austria-Switzerland region, that is Manuel Diaz in the Mandalorian Legends car. Starting 13th in car number 8, he's going to show up on your screen as car 11, but in your telemetry up on the top left-hand corner of the screen, he will be car number 8. That's Christopher Burling out of Sutton, Canada. Christopher in the FedEx Legends car. Starting 12th in car number 12, that's Jordi Tora from the Iberian Peninsula. Jordi in the Nationwide Legends car. Starting 11th in car number 9, it's Randy Lapidus from Indiana, also running a car sponsored by Indiana. Starting 10th in car number 4, racing the Red Bull car out of New York, that's Andrew Gagne. Starting in the 9th spot in car number 10, that is the Engine Ice Legends car of Lath Hicks, Lath from the Great Plains region. Starting 8th in car number 2, racing with us out of Scandinavia, that's Tom Nordstrom. Starting 7th in car number 1, it's Mick Swarter in the Made in the USA Legends car, Mick racing with us from the UK Ireland region. Starting in the 6th spot in car number 5, it's the Fanatec Legends car of Carl Fitz, Carl racing with us out of Indiana. Now let's have a look at your top 5 starters. Starting in the 5th spot in car number 14, that's Philip Payne, Philip out of Canada. He did not make the starting grid in time, so Philip will have to start from the pits. Starting fourth in car number three, that's the Route 3 Legends car of Tyler Bingham, Tyler racing from Georgia. Starting third in car number seven, also racing out of Georgia, it's the Wrangler Legends car of Tyler Stouffer. Tyler showing up there in car seven. Starting on the front row outside, car double zero, that is Larson Parker. Larson in the Steak and Shake car, he'll show up on your telemetry as car number six, but on your screen as that Steak and Shake double zero. And on the pole in car number 11, that's Michelle Correa, the second number 11 car. Correa on the pole racing with us out of California. Larson Parker running out of Colorado and both Tyler's out of Georgia. So a good field here. Lots of great drivers. These drivers have combined for 192 wins. The green flag is out. And Michelle Correa jumps out to a quick early lead. Looks like the seven of Tyler Stoffer is going to get by Parker on the inside. So that'll put Michelle Correa out front. Stoffer second, Parker in the third spot. Just behind them, Tyler Bingham's going to be running in the fourth spot with Carl Fitz in fifth. Those are your top five cars. A little bit of action back there. I heard some sort of a collision. So there was action early. We are two laps into a 40 lap event at Lanier National Speedway. Michelle Correa running out front. Correa in that sort of turquoise purple and hot pink car very quick so we see someone who larson parker getting past the seven of tyler stauffer but getting a little sideways doing it parker manages to hang on to that race car it looks like larson parker has set his sights on tracking down the 11 of michelle correa correa out front parker currently running in the second spot let's follow that battle a little bit as larson parker beginning to pull away from the seven of tyler stauffer so larson parker trying to Close in on the 11 of Michelle Correa. Parker in the second spot, a member of the Johnson I Racing team. And he runs pretty hard here as he looks to track down that flying 11 car out front. It is Michelle Correa. She's closing in on the three of Tyler Bingham. Bingham looks like he had some trouble early on. Left front fender gone on that car. Michelle Correa leads, but Tyler, uh, sorry, Larson Parker closing in. The two cars then trying to close in on the lapped car of Tyler Bingham. Parker's there. He's about a car length behind. Looks underneath the 11 of Correa. Turns down, hammers the throttle down the back straightaway. Larson Parker, side by side. Correa drives in hard on the outside, but it's going to be Parker taking the lead here. Larson Parker going past the 11 of Michelle Correa. So it is Parker out front now. Michelle Correa in the second spot. Tom Nordstrom has worked his way into third with Lath Hicks in fourth and Mick Swarter in the fifth spot. As it looks as though we're seeing both Tylers struggle as Tyler Stauffer is also dropped in the back. Stauffer, an early third place runner. Sounds like another collision there. You could hear a little bit of uh, 
a little bit of a contact being made. We don't know who that was as Larson Parker looks like he's trying to close in on the lapped car. That's the three of Tyler Bingham. Let's have a look at how they run on the speedway. Larson Parker in that double zero up front. Parker running a nice smooth race beginning to pull away from the 11 of Michelle Correa. Correa currently in the second spot. She's about eight car lengths back. Just behind her on the speedway, the next car on the track is the two of Tom Nordstrom. Nordstrom currently running third. Then behind Nordstrom, we see the 10 of Lath Hicks. Hicks being shown in the fourth spot. Next car on the speedway is the one of Mick Swarter. Swarter running out of the UK and Ireland, currently being shown in fifth. Then just behind Swarter, that's the seven of Tyler Stauffer in sixth. Behind Stauffer, the next car on the speedway, the nine of Randy Lapidus. Lapidus currently being shown in the seventh spot. Behind them, that's the five of Carl Fitz. Fitz in eighth. Behind Fitz, it's the 13 of Manuel Diaz. Manuel currently running in the ninth spot. Next car on the speedway behind Diaz is the 11. That's the FedEx car of Christopher Burling. Burling currently being shown in the 10th spot. Then behind Burling, it's the 12 of Jordy Tora. Tora one lap down in 11th. The next car on the speedway is the double zero of Parker. So Larson Parker picking him up and putting him down. They're 14 laps into this race. Now 15 laps, just beginning to start the 15 lap. Larson Parker running an outstanding race here. Nice and smooth down the back straightaway, looking high. Now dives back down to the inside. The 12 of Jordy Tora giving the leader plenty of room as Larson Parker pulls away, extending the lead now to nearly a straightaway over the 11 of Michelle Correa. Larson Parker having a fantastic run in that flying double zero. The Stake and Shake Legends car out front. Parker down the front straightaway past the start finish line to begin lap number 17. We can see Parker closing in on the 11 of Christopher Burling. Remember, Burling shows up as car number eight in your telemetry there at the top. But as car number 11, the FedEx car on the speedway, we can see Parker closing in. Looks like Michelle Correa has dropped back as well. Something happened to Michelle Correa's car. Parker won. Now Nordstrom second, Hicks third, Swarter fourth, Stauffer fifth. Michelle Correa has dropped all the way to ninth. Don't know what happened there. She got tangled with the lapped car. But we can see she is now just in front of Larson Parker. Parker closing on the 11 of Christopher Burling down the back straightaway. Parker running a nice race. We're going to come by the start finish line this time to start lap number 20 as Parker closes in on the 11 of Christopher Burling. Larson Parker running a near flawless race thus far, doing an outstanding job controlling that red and white double zero at Lanier National Speedway. Parker now will lead at the halfway point. We're halfway in. Larson Parker with the lead, followed by the two of Tom Nordstrom. Parker looks to the inside of the 11 of Correa. The other 11, that's the 11 of Burling out front. Correa lets him go. Parker trying to go around Burling as well. Burling, the last car on the lead lap. Larson Parker looks to the inside as they go into turn number one. Burling gives Parker plenty of room. Larson Parker makes a nice pass, gets up to the high side. Burling coming back on the inside. Doesn't quite have enough car to get the crossover move done there. So Larson Parker is going to continue to lead. It's Parker out front. Second place car is Tom Nordstrom, then Mick Swarter, Tyler Stauffer, and Lath Hicks. Stauffer early on was in the third spot, had some trouble, dropped all the way back to about seventh, has worked his way back into the fourth spot. So Tyler Stauffer with a pretty good race car. Tyler Bingham in the Route 3 car has withdrawn as we watch Larson Parker go past the 13 of Manuel Diaz. Diaz now a lap down. Seven cars on the lead lap, led by the double zero of Larson Parker. Let's have another look at how they run on the speedway. The next car behind Parker is the lapped car. That's the 13 of Manuel Diaz. Diaz shown in the eighth spot, one lap down. Just behind Diaz, that's the 11 of Christopher Burling. Burling also a lap down, being shown in ninth. Then behind them, the other 11, that is Michelle Correa. Correa a lap down in 10th. The next car on the speedway behind Correa is the two of Tom Nordstrom. Nordstrom currently in the second spot, about seven seconds back of the leader, Larson Parker. Then behind Nordstrom, that's the one of Mick Swarter. Swarter currently being shown in the third. And we can watch here as the seven woo, of Stouffer just about turns the one, manages to get out of it, saves the car. The seven of Tyler Stouffer, a quick race car, nearly spinning himself to avoid spinning Swarters. That's uh, Stauffer being shown in fourth behind Stauffer. Next car on the speedway is the nine of Randy Lapidus in fifth. Then behind Lapidus is the 10 of Lath Hicks in sixth, just to his inside and making a pass for position. That's the five of Carl Fitz. Fitz will move up into the sixth spot. That'll drop Lath to seventh. 
Behind those two cars, the next car on the speedway is the 12 of Jordi Torre. Torre two laps down in 11th. He is allowing the four of Andrew Gagne to go by. Gagne four laps down in 12th. Next car on the speedway is the double zero of Larson Parker. Parker, a quick race car. He's working his way around all kinds of traffic. Eight cars, actually seven cars remain on the lead lap. Larson Parker passed the 12 of Jordi Torre, sets his sights on the four of Andrew Gagne. Gagne four laps down in 12th spot. There are 10 laps to go as Larson Parker is putting on a clinic. An outstanding drive by Larson Parker in that double zero Stake and Shake Legends car. Parker racing out of Club West. He's from Colorado. Parker related to the Vecciarelli family. Ed Vecciarelli, a super late model driver, um, also a modified driver, numerous times winning track championships at Colorado National Speedway. So you might say that racing is in Larson Parker's blood as we watch Parker go past the four of Andrew Gagne. Gagne giving plenty of room to the leader as Larson Parker picks him up and puts him down. Eight laps to go. Parker in the lead. Six cars remain on the lead laps as Larson Parker has put Lath Hicks down, and we can see Parker closing in on the five of Carl Fitz. Seven to go. Parker with the lead. He's down the back straightaway into turn number three. That red and white checkered stake and shake car, a fast race car. He's got a good piece. It looks like he's pushing just a little bit coming out of turn number four. Tires are getting old here. Six to go. 40 laps pushing these cars pretty hard. Tires are getting warm. They're getting uh, worn. So Larson Parker may be fighting. Looks like he's fighting just a little bit, and maybe not quite so tight that time. Looks like he took a slightly different line through three and four. Now right down on the yellow line as Parker comes out of turn number two on the back straightaway. Five to go, Larson Parker with the lead. Tyler Stoffer in second. Mick Swarter in the third spot with Randy Lapidus fourth. Tom Nordstrom fifth. Carl Fitz in sixth. Lath Hicks seventh. Christopher Burling eighth. Michelle Correa ninth. And Manuel Diaz rounding out the top ten. Parker with four to go. A nice smooth race. He had that one wiggle early as he went around the seven of Tyler Stoffer to take the second spot. But other than that, it has been smooth sailing for the double zero of Larson Parker. Parker down the back straightaway. Now runs into turn three through the center of three and four onto the front straightaway. We can see he's closing in on the two of Tom Nordstrom. Nordstrom has dropped back into the sixth spot. Looks like Nordstrom also fighting a very, very tight race car. Unable to get that car down onto the yellow line, and that is the quick way around Lanier. Nordstrom lets the leader go by. There are now five cars on the lead lap as Larson Parker takes the white flag. One to go. Parker out of turn number two for the final time in this race. Now down the back straightaway. It's Larson Parker. The only thing that will keep him from winning this race is terrible luck or a terrible mistake, and that's not going to happen as Parker comes out of turn four and takes the win in that red and white double zero. Tyler Stoffer comes home second with Mick Swarter in the third spot, Randy Lapidus in fourth, and Carl Fitz in fifth. Those five cars finish on the lead lap. Behind Fitz, it's Tom Nordstrom in sixth, Christopher Burling in seventh, Michelle Correa in eighth, Lath Hicks in ninth, and Manuel Diaz in tenth. That's going to do it from Lanier National Speedway. An outstanding run by Larson Parker of the Johnson I Racing team. Big win. And you saw it all here for the Johnson I Racing team on the Johnson I Racing Network. This is Aaron Johnson saying, go fast, turn left, have fun. <laughs>